You know, you know who, Hulk, I'm very interested in this series coming up and gambling-wise you're talking about it is Bam's overs. Mm. Because I think he's frustrated by his performance. Just And I don't <laughs> lie. Like last game, I texted to y'all. Like at one point, I was like, Bam, stop shooting the ball. But he did end with a triple-double last <laughs> night. And by the way, he's the reason that Giannis was, oh, what, in the fourth quarter, one of ten, something like that? And And – how many free throws did Giannis miss? I'm not saying Bam yeah. had anything to do with that, but he was 13. frustrated last night. Missed 13 free throws? Giannis Antetokounmpo missed 13 free throws last night. The Miami Heat, as a team, attempted 17. Wow. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. Was, but I, yeah. I, I, Bam, the only thing about Bam is he might really be nursing a hamstring injury. So I, I, I I'm, you know, I, I, yeah. to, to be nursing a hamstring injury, be facing, who you're facing and come out with a triple double. Yeah. Like that yeah. dude gave you everything. And after I text y'all, then I'm watching and now I start feeling bad. Cause there was one series where they, they get to half court. He is fighting for his life to keep Brooke Lopez out of this damn paint. And then he switches off and has Giannis, one of the best offensive players in the world. And he makes Giannis, you know, pass the ball. And I was like, you know what? Let me stop texting tough, about tough him. assignment. Yeah, tough assignment. <laughs> he is working his ass off. Hey, on give me the three hundred five alarm. I dare you. It's three hundred five. I dare you. Dolly, Dolly, God bless, Dolly, Dolly. Thank you, Jimmy. You're welcome. Sorry. What, happened? what happened? Sorry, to, I, what I wasn't. Happened to that Jimmy? time, I, that time I wasn't. I wasn't ready. To... What happened to Jimmy? I don't he understand. He wasn't ready. Where's playoff Jimmy? I'm used to playoff Jimmy. I'm. I'm getting like uh, exhibition Jimmy. Hey, Budenholzer, come on, walk <laughs> in. I'm getting Jimmy in the the ballroom at the Atlantis in the Bahamas when they're just walking <laughs> through a. A training. Uh, 305 on the Hockman and Crowder Show, sponsored by Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. 1 800 747 3733. We love Jimmy Butler. We're a little up in the air on Jimmy Garcia. We'll figure out by <laughs> six o'clock. Uh, let's get headlines here because uh, Brian Geltziler is going to join us this hour, talk some hoops. Let's get headlines with Alejandro Solana doing his thing. They're driven by the new Palmetto Ford truck. Truck Super Center. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know trucks. Really quickly revisiting Bam at a bio because I know fans were frustrated offensively with him. There was a point he was two of ten yesterday going into the fourth quarter. I believe that's not good. I get that, but the way air. First of all, the Heat down sixteen. Jimmy Butler doesn't check in till the the seven fifty minute mark or something like that. The Heat go on an eight zero run, and it was Bam and Kevin Love mostly that really. Yeah. Led them there and defensively holding the Bucks to zero points through the first four and a half minutes, I think it was. Like, as much as you're frustrated with his offensive performance and Hawk, I'm with you. I think he's actually hurt. And he told the media. There were that a couple times where he actually grabs the hamstring. He's ham favoring yeah. the yeah. hamstring. And I like it's one thing to to say, oh, he's nursing a hamstring injury. It would be a whole nother like if you want to take it with a grain of salt, it would be a whole nother thing to start grabbing at it if you didn't really have an injury. But yeah. Eric Spolstra. Just Crowder's like, been known to do it if he got beat by a tight end going <laughs> deep or whatever. He'll, he'll fake a hammy. Where's YB? Safety. <laughs> Safety help. You know my hammy's injured. <laughs> Eric Spolstra, and I don't want to get too into like the nuts and bolts here, but Eric Spolstra, the master class in the fourth quarter, the last three and a half minutes, the Heat needed buckets. The Bucks were just crowding the paint. What does Spo do after a timeout? He has Bam be the primary ball handler at the top of the key. Go watch the last three and a half minutes of regulation. Jimmy Butler scores like three straight baskets at the rim to when he got in Drew Holiday's face. Crowder said, you can't guard me. I yeah. own you. All of those looks were Jimmy getting screens on the perimeter. Bam, as the primary ball handler. I mean, the dimes he was dropping, we should rename him Bam Marino because <laughs> he was just <laughs> dropping dimes as the primary ball handler. As frustrated you are with him offensively, dude ended with a 20-point triple-double in yep. a closeout game, having to guard Giannis, Brooke Lopez, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton. And in the fourth quarter in overtime, he played elite on both ends. It, elite. It, it doesn't mean that you can't have moments of frustration during sure. a game. For sure. When Gabe Vincent jacked up that three at the end from the logo... Uh, bro, like, what do we do? But he had a great game. Like, he had a great say. game. 
but it was like, what are you doing there, Gabe? <laughs> Gabe was sitting on 20 some points, baby. Let it fly. No, don't let it fly. You know, don't let I, it fly. I, I had to watch the national broadcast because I'm up here. There's no, you know, no, no ballets. And they were saying, like, Gabe is the surprise they needed with Tyler going down, with Victor going, going down. They were like, there's people in this arena that didn't know this guy's name yep. until they played game one. And now he's dropping 20. There, there was yeah. a point last night, I think, where he had more shot attempts than Jimmy in, like, the third quarter. Like, it was he, he was oh. firing. Oh, oh, Gabe doesn't know that he's Mario Chalmers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe when, is when a... you're Mario Chalmers, you don't know you're Mario Chalmers. Gabe is one of the best guards in the NBA when he walks on that court. <laughs> you mentioned a national broadcast. I think ESPN, TNT, they still have the Bucks winning this series. I believe, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. 14-point favorites. The Bucks closed at 14-point favorites. You want to know what the line is for uh, Heat and Knicks? Who, Knicks by two? Solana, have you looked? I have it. By the way, Julius Randle, because you mentioned no big guy, he went down yesterday and didn't come back. Yeah. He re-aggravated an ankle injury that he suffered late in the season. It looked bad. I don't know what his status will be. We don't know yet. Something to keep an eye on. And that, that could affect the line as well. So you want to yeah. guess? Knicks minus one and a half. Knicks minus four right now. Four? Four. Take the heat. Take the heat. I did, you know, I did. I took them straight up to win the first game, but I'll I'll take them with the points as well. Yeah, and and with Bam, we saw it even when uh, he would get a smaller defender on him, he would still dominate that little guy. So even Julius being a big athletic, I think Bam is a big, ath more athletic than guys like that. I just don't want the seven foot three guy anymore. Please keep him away from my court.